So people keep asking me, how do you make tray charms? So I'm going to do this tutorial to hopefully help you into making your own tray charms. I chose Tupac and Biggie just for, you know, you know, teaching purposes. Um, this is a size 25 mm. And as you can see, it could fit on each image. Also, if you want this exact same um, images, I have it on my PDF file at um, www.theconnectqueen.com. And you can um, print it out and use it a limited amount of times as you wish. So let me get started first. I'm just going to cut out Make sure I stay in between the lines. And I'm gonna cut out this one. And then I cut it out again. So I have my images. I have some Mod Podge. I have my own container I save to refill it when it gets low. I have a syringe. You could buy these at Amazon. And I have my um, glass dome. Like I said, it's a size 25 mm. So here's my images. You know, put some cloth down so your workstation doesn't get messed up. Under this, I have paper. Um, I have enough Mod Podge in my container and let me get started. I'm going to fill my syringe up. And I'm just going to put a little dot in the center of the images. I always wipe the middle down before I place it. Make sure no fingerprints is in the middle of my glass dome. And then I just press it down. Press it down. Sit down. See how you can see a bubble in there? So I'm just, I'm just gonna let that sit for a second and continue. Make sure I get the whole image inside and I do not press it. Press it down. I'm gonna go back to this one that has a bubble. See how you can see the bubble? So you just press it a little bit until you get the bubble out. And then there's no more bubbles inside. And you continue. Pick up this one. See how I got a little bit of Mod Podge? It's fine. I just wait till everything dry, and then you know you wipe the glass dome off as you go.
push the bubbles out. All those are fine. And you know, that's part one of the video. It has to be continued because I have to let these dry overnight. You know, see how your workstation get messed up. So make sure you lay something down. So until next time. Okay, hi everybody. This is the Connect Queen. I'm doing a continuation of the video where I had left off. I had let my um, tray charms. I actually let it sit for 48 hours. Some people let it sit for 24, but I wanted to make sure it's really complete and hard. So I let mine sit for 48 hours. And what you'll need is, of course, the tray charms. I use um, Gorilla Glue Stick and some scissors and also you're going to need of course the trays we'll get to that in a minute right now i'm going to start by cutting them out i apologize if you hear my dog and my puppies in the background my dog just had some puppies i have a bully exotic bully and it just had puppies so i'm going to start by cutting it out somebody had asked me how do i cut out my tray charms and it speaks for itself i just use scissors make sure you don't cut the glass so i'm just cutting around it and okay, moving along because sometimes if you don't wait until it's all the way dry you can start seeing like it's lifting up on the sides. So that's why I let mine actually sit for 48 hours. So they all cut out. Make sure if you see any extra, that's like hard glue. So they all cut out. Now I'm gonna take my first tray. Some people like to use the E6000, but I had a bad experience with it, with it because once you put the E6000 inside the tray and you place your dome, pretty much later when your your domes, your tray charms sit, you can see like, I guess like shiny stuff inside of the dome glass and pretty much the E6000, it seeped into the picture and it messes the whole um charm up it messes the whole thing so i had a bad experience with that and i lost a lot of charms in a way and you know in the past and then another thing people use is tacky glue also a bad experience because when you sit the tacky glue and you let it sit inside the 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 tray 
pretty much you'll also see things to the picture. So I had a great experience with um, Gorilla Glue because pretty much you just put a good amount in the picture on the, on the tray and you just put your picture. You pitch your picture, make sure it's centered, and look at that. Nice. So that's the first one. Take my next tray. And displace the picture. You don't have to worry about glue everywhere. And plus, it's, once Gorilla, um, once it hardens, it's stuck. So I had a great experience with, I went through a lot of trays and a lot of different glues to get the perfect glue. And I had a great experience with Gorilla Glue. And like I said, if any glue gets on your, your glass, just wipe it off after it dry. Let me see if I want to use black. Mm. And last but not least, now look at that. That's all. And you let it sit overnight. And then you just pretty much place it on a necklace or on a bangle. And like I said, if you have any glue, you could just wipe it off. It's so easy. I love Gorilla Glue, the glue stick. In the comments, let me know if you if this helped you or if you have any um, questions or suggestions. Hopefully this helped you. Bye.